Hi guys, so this is the part two of setting up your camera and you have a, a button here on the right hand side of the camera, it's called the FN button. The, the way it works is it allows you to have all these custom things here in the menus. You can see them like this and you can actually access them by it as well, which does work really, really well. And if you're in this view, which you can change with your display button. So you've got a display button at the top here of the wheel and you just click it and you can see different setups of your display. As you go around, you come back to it. To access this menu here on the right hand side, you can just push your FN button and it allows you to change different things. So whatever you want to change, you can change. So I could go into the flash modes and I could change it to slow shutter, rear cur shutter curtain, um, wireless or whatever come back out. I don't generally use this screen like this at all because I'm always looking for the viewfinder. So come back out of there. My screen is generally something like this or like that. So when I push the FN button now it all comes up down the bottom here. And to set this up with what you might want to do um, and use can be very very handy. Uh, let's get out of that. And depending on what your function your camera is, we now have a couple of bits and pieces here back light because obviously I was in a different, slightly different mode there. So if we go into uh, menu again, and go into the second uh, purple camera again and go right across to page nine again. And you can go down to the function menu set. So that's your FN choices basically. So for example, in the first one, I've got subject detection which basically allows me to choose between uh, human and animal. On the second one I have face, eye, priority and AF. So it's face detection, eye detection. Uh, auto object framing I have there. Sometimes it, you want to use a particular type of focusing and it will actually put an object, a, a box around the uh, object of focus and stay with it. Focus area if I need to swap it. Uh, steady shots in there as well, metering mode, go on to page two, I've got my white balance, my frame rate for my HFR, so the high frame rate as well, audio record level, so when I'm recording video I might want to adjust my recording levels, uh, steady shot, which was there anyway, oh for video, there's one for video and one for stills, so I can adjust both of those, uh, like I say audio signals is there, so I can have audio signals on or off, so that's different from the audio record level. Audio record levels for video, audio signals are basically the if the camera makes sound or not. So you know if I push the button it goes to do, or you know on and off with recording and stuff like that. I have them turned off because I just want the shutter sound because the shutter sound is actually fake unless you're using a mechanical shutter. So that's shutter type as in electronic, auto, or man uh, or mechanical, and you can choose that if you're in electric only, um, it won't be able to use a flash. If you have it mechanical, it'll be able to use a flash. If you have it in auto, it will swap between. So I just leave it in auto. So yeah, it's that simple. And then as we, as we, when we come out, we've now got, obviously if I click in the FN button, it brings up the menu. Uh, I can now swap between animal and uh, human. I've got my face priority high priority on and off. So if I'm not shooting humans, I'm doing a landscape. Sometimes it gets a bit confusing and recognises a similar shape to an eye, uh, which could be a leaf or something like that, and it'll try and use that as an eye eye detect. So I leave. I sometimes turn that off. Uh, auto object framing, I haven't got that active at the minute because I think it only works in JPEG, I can't remember. Um, next one along is autofocus area, so I can just click that and just adjust whatever my um, focus area setup wants to be. So there we go. Uh, steady shot standard, like I said before, you can have intelligent or whatever, so that's in there. Even though I've got a custom button at the top that I do use as well. But it's handy just to have it there if you, I mean, you can swap these around as, as much as you like. Metering mode, so at the moment mine's on multi, but I actually quite often have it in uh, center actually, it's most of the time. Uh, like I say, shutter type is the auto, uh, mechanical and electrical. And audio signal, so I can show you this how we do it now. So if I have it all on, 
There we go, so recording. It will. Ah, in continuous focus it won't. But if you have it in standard or single shot focusing, it'll go doo -doo -doo, and it'll recognise it. But because it's on continuous, it won't do it anyway. So let's go back in there. I have it just as shutter only. So when we actually take a picture, you'll get that sort of noise. But you can go, and also if you're doing wildlife and you think, oh, I need to be really quiet, you can go to audio signals off. And because I'm in electrical, electric shutter, it's now silent. And if you notice my button, the numbers are going down rather quickly. There you go. It's taken, I don't know how many shots, 30 or something. Uh, so you can obviously shoot silently. There we go. Uh, going across, steady shot again, which I need to, to is, it's just on and off. So if I'm on a tripod, I would generally just turn it off. And then the other one is uh, the type of steady shot it's actually using. Uh, audio level obviously only works in when you're actually recording video. And this one I use quite a lot, which is the HFR, which is the high frame rate, which I have done quite a lot of uh, slow motion videos before, which work really, really well. Uh, the only struggle really is at a thousand frames a second, it, it crops in and it upscales. So it's not brilliant unless you're quite close to something where there's more detail showing and it actually plenty of lights because you need loads of light. Uh, 500 actually works quite well, but 250 is, is better. Um, so it gives you the options of your slow motion video. Uh, auto white balance, so basically I can change, if I'm shooting in studio or something, I can obviously adjust my uh, auto white balance. Like I said before, it's really, really simple to use. It's just a case of remembering everything. It's just a case of using it, remembering, but it's so easy, that function button menu is there. It's literally so easy to go into and change. That's why once you've set the camera up properly, I rarely go into here, and the only thing I do do is have my star menu, so that's complete custom. You can add things in here, so you haven't got to try and find them in the deep menus. A format. So I come in here, I'm going to format my card most of the time. That's it. I, I don't really need to go in there for anything because I've got everything in here or on my custom buttons. You know, 99% of the time, I'm never going in there. So as long as you set the camera up properly, it works really, really well. Anyway, guys, I um, hope that's helped someone with the FN button and uh, the function menus and everything like that. If you need any help with it, just uh, comment below and I'll, I'll try and assist you. Uh, yeah, on to the next video. So yeah, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well, and I'll see you soon.